I'm Jordan. I'm Matt. Welcome to Board Engineers. Hey, Matt. What are you doing? Making burgers. Eat that garbage. Why don't you use this one? All right, we're vegan burgers. What's up with you and vegan? God, eat some real meat. That's fine. All right, so we're getting started on the spatula project. This is that half inch by half inch we used before to make the uh, hammers out of. We're going to throw it in the fire, get it hot, and start tapering this end down to connect it to our flat stock. Here we go.
that in just a little bit. Now this is going to make Matt's job a little harder, but never mind, we'll hold off on that and I'll show you why later. I'm going to cool that edge off.
Okay, well, we're going to continue to work this taper down. I probably stole everything back to Jordan. He's greedy when it comes to being around hot metal. We'll see if he can twist it the right direction. Amateur out right here. Let's see. I almost started the wrong way, but you 
know. And it kind of curled a little bit to the angle where I don't want it, so I'm going to kind of work it back in the direction I do want it. You know, you could actually work some of the smaller stuff with it, be a little bit easier. But that's, you know, that's another video. So we're gonna put it back in the fire so I can twist it just a hair more back where we want it, and we'll be good. You know, after some mentoring from this master blacksmith that he calls himself over here, Jordan, we're gonna get this a little straighter. So the key to what he's doing is his metal is bending this direction. You want to, when it bends this way, you want to hit down on that bend. You don't want to hit here and try to drive a U-shape down. It just doesn't work near as well. And now I've got it pretty straight the way I want it, as you can see. So uh, now we're going to work on getting the, the flat part of the spatula on. So we're going we're gonna to take a flat piece of metal, flare it out, and cut it to the shape we want flare it out and we'll rivet it to that that's what we're gonna do next okay what you missed is uh, Jordan decided to put dicum on it and for you people that don't know what dicum is it's basically a marking fluid for machinists well if you Machinist don't have that layout fluid is what it is <laughs> and I had to have some just because it's this nice pretty steel blue color you don't want the red stuff it looks like you killed yourself and bloods everywhere so we use the blue so you can use sharpie as well you just highlight the end uh, and all that's going to do is give you a nice, nice sharp, sharp spot to line. So I'm using a pair of calipers. You can use a tape measure. You can use whatever with a sharp metal edge. And all I'm doing is, is these are a half inch or a quarter inch rivet. So the diameter of them is a quarter inch. That means your radius is, a, is an eighth inch. So if I come in a quarter inch, I'll have plenty of space. So I'm just going to come along this edge and make a, make a line. And you that can make a line. If I can make a line. I got a line there. You probably can't see it on the camera. Uh, and all that's going to do is give me a spot that I can I can center punch and hit with the drill. And I'm going to do the same thing this way, uh, but because I've got such a large area, I'm not going to do a half inch. I'm going to do three eighths because I like nice fractional numbers. If I can set my calipers here, close enough. So the spot that those two lines intersect, which I can't hardly see, so I'm sure you can't. Mm, probably not. Oh. Anyways. Uh, that's where we're going to get it drilled. So we'll drill it, come back, uh, we'll drill the spatula to match. And then we're going to do some hot rivets. Yep. Okay, well, uh, we came back and we are only supposed to drill two holes, but uh, Jordan didn't listen to me, and I warned him a couple times. So we have three holes because he drilled these two holes, first two holes, too close together to set two rivets next to each other. We're using these quarter inch hot set rivets, which you can see and uh, typically you can buy them in a blacksmithing or you can order them online at uh, like MasterCard's place. You can order them several other places. I'm sure you can get them off eBay. Centaur Forge, um, what, any blacksmith supply online store. So where we, where we messed up so everybody can learn along with me, because uh, it's been a long day, is I measured the diameter of the rivet, not the head of the rivet. So when the two heads of the rivets line up, they interfere, as you can see. So that's the problem. So that's why we had to drill the third hole. So uh, we're going to let these heat up and then we'll get back to you as soon as these are hot. Okay, so we're going to try to drop these hot rivets now that I oversized them slightly. One thing that will help you that's is... Wrong hole. Both the other ones. One thing that will help you is don't try to drive them through both pieces at once. Do one piece at a time. So we got it driven, he's going to just lay it flat on the anvil, we didn't get it driven.
displaces the metal in a circular pattern and gives you a more rivet shaped head. Alright, before we get that too tight, we're going to go ahead and grab this other one out of there. So this time I picked the rivet up kind of this direction, whatever direction that is. And that didn't help me much at all. So I'm just going to barely get it started. Alright, got to flip it. Oh. Yep, we lost it. I would recommend using a pair of pliers instead of a pair of tongs to get a little bit finer, finer movement. Here's our finished product. I hope you and guys have enjoyed our grilling videos. Uh, if you build up this along with us, make sure you use a thick enough material for your spatula. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.